Hey, how's it going? Dave2D here. So this is a laptop with NVIDIA's new Max Q design, specifically the ASUS GX501. And well, here's the thing. For years, ever since like gaming laptops existed, people have been trying to find that perfect balance between power and portability. And honestly, it doesn't really exist because when you have a gaming laptop, it's usually thick or loud or thick and loud until now. NVIDIA's Max-Q approach is an approach to building a laptop that's thin and quiet and powerful. Basically, they're building the perfect laptop. So everything from the GPU to the drivers to the thermal components, the electrical components, everything is geared towards this Max-Q approach. And it's essentially all about efficiency. So first, let's talk about the GPU. It's a GTX 1080 chip. It has all the CUDA cores, all the memory, but it's clocked slower. They've reduced the clock speed a bit for this Max-Q approach, but the trade-off is a very nice reduction in power consumption. So in terms of total wattage, a regular GTX 1080 laptop will pull maybe 250, 260 watts under full load. This laptop pulls 170 watts under full load, and that's like a 90 watt difference, which means smaller AC adapters for portability and less heat output. And when you have less heat to deal with, you can make your laptops thinner, your fans don't need to work as hard, and on the ASUS Zephyrus, the bottom actually opens up when you lift the screen, which allows for better airflow. Now this machine is running some very early drivers, but I was just curious to see how it would do for benchmarks. The Max-Q Design Zephyrus is about 13 to 15% slower than a regular laptop GTX 1080, which is around what I'd expected. And it's about 10, maybe 12% faster than a GTX 1070 laptop. So it kind of sits between the two in terms of just raw performance. But the thing is the fans on this laptop are super quiet in comparison to anything else on this chart. It's so weird to see this kind of performance in something this quiet. Now I wanted to focus on NVIDIA's Max-Q design for this video, but because I've been using this for a while, I thought I'd give it kind of like a mini review. The build quality is really good. It's a premium ASUS device. I think it's the best looking laptop that ASUS has ever made. There's lots of brushed aluminum, great materials with just a hint of gamer DNA. It doesn't have any like red racing stripes and stuff. It has a solid port selection for a 15 inch laptop, but there's no SD slot if you're looking for one. The NVMe drive inside is really fast. It's upgradable, but it's not easy to open it up. The thermals are comfortable when playing games, but Max-Q does limit the thermal output automatically. The configuration on the top deck here is obviously a little bit different. They've shifted the keyboard down for better component airflow. It has customizable backlighting, and the keys have pretty short travel. It's very chiclety. I am comfortable gaming on it, but I don't think it's ideal for typing a ton of stuff. Now, because it's positioned so close to the bottom of the keyboard, ASUS includes a wrist rest. I didn't find it useful. I mean, I found it comfortable enough to use without, but everyone's gonna be a little bit different. The trackpad slash keypad, I find it super cool. It switches between the two. It uses Windows Precision Drivers with good tracking, and when it's in number pad mode, it's very accurate. It's obviously positioned a little weird being on the side, but I got used to it quickly. I am right-handed though. The speakers are pretty nice, and because of how quiet the system is, even under load, you can totally rely on them for games. It houses a 50 watt hour battery underneath the keyboard, and battery life is short. I'm getting three hours of battery life with my regular tests, but that's just the nature of a thin and light, high performance laptop. There's no more room in there for a bigger battery. So I played a lot of games on the Zephyrus, and it just crushes them at 1080p. With the G-Sync panel, games look super smooth at 120 hertz. It's just a very enjoyable gaming experience. Almost every single first person shooter is gonna play really well in this system. Open world games tend to be a bit more demanding, but even those play pretty well. You won't be able to hit 120 frames per second on every open world game at max graphics, but if you reduce it to high, the screen can show off that sweet refresh rate again. Video editing is also awesome on this laptop. A lot of laptops with high-end CPUs and high-end GPUs can be loud in Premiere because that's just the way video editing is. It's CPU intensive, it's GPU intensive, but with a Max-Q laptop, it's quiet, but you still get kick-ass performance. The other thing is that the Zephyrus is low-key enough to use in a library or a coffee shop. If you wanna go out there and you wanna play some games, no one would bat an eye. These laptops are so quiet and unassuming. The Max-Q approach to laptop design obviously isn't for everyone. Some people don't care about how thin their laptops are. Some people don't care about how loud their fans are. They just want pure performance. And for those people, the full fat GTX 1080 laptops, a little bit thick, but those will deliver great performance, better performance than this. But if you're looking for thin and light and powerful and quiet, NVIDIA Max-Q delivers. This thing is seriously laptop dream material.